In this video, I'll show you how to ship a set of wheels and tires for your vehicle. So step number one is getting a set of wheels and tires that you need to ship. I got these for a friend back home. I live out in California right now. I reside here through part of the year and my friend back home really wanted this set of wheels. So I got them all loaded up in the car. It is going to be a very tight fit. We'll need to adjust it just a little bit to make sure it does fit. But first thing is you need a set of wheels and tires to ship. Obviously you got that if you're watching the video. So I'm going to go to Home Depot. I'll grab the parts that you need, all of the packing material and any tools that you'll need. And then I'll show you how to wrap them up, package them to ship, talk about different shipping options and alternatives and show you what that entire process looks like. So let's go over what you'll need to ship your wheels. In the pre, got the AC going. Here is wheel number one, and here are the other three back there. Fortunately, we got the backup camera, so we are headed to Home Depot. The pre is very loaded up. We got all four boxes put away, as well as the rest of the packing material, the utility blade or box cutter, the shrink wrap, some extra bubble wrap, and the center caps. So we are ready to head to ship. We've made it to the hub. We are at FedEx, which is the service provider that we're choosing to use with these tires. Specifically, there are some other options and alternatives available depending on what your objective is, what you're looking to spend. You ship next ship, I believe. Uh, UPS, USPS, obviously FedEx. Um, anyway, we are packing up the wheels right now and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you wanna do is put some bubble wrap down so that you don't scratch the wheel face or you can use dish protectors. They look like this right here and you can use something like that. But regardless, you wanna make sure that your wheel does not get damaged in the shipping process. Then we're going to wanna take one of these cardboard boxes and cut it to fit the wheel face AKA this portion of the wheel, not the tire fully, just the wheel face on both sides. So we'll do two for each wheel, which is why I bought four boxes, and then we'll secure that on. So now we're here, I got eight little pizza pies to put atop these wheels, and I am going to slap them on with some packing material so that the faces don't get scuffed and get them wrapped up in the saran wrap. I don't know if I've ever said that I love where I live, but man, we got the Ferrari, the G-Wago, and the M3 in the perfect color spec. No complaints.
We got one done, three more to go. A quick little hack you can do is putting the bubble wrap on the cardboard and then just slapping that on the wheel face. <sighs> too long, too dizzy, but they are done. Here they all are, packaged up, all wrapped up very well. And while I was doing this, I was just thinking why this is happening. So as it turns out, being from the Midwest, there are a lot of trucks and being out here, there's not really the need for trucks. So evidently, as my friend who bought these wheels pointed out, wheels and tires for trucks are a lot cheaper out here, or at least he got a really good deal on these. And there's a word called arbitrage right here. And basically it's when you take goods or services from one market to another and you capitalize on the difference. And that's exactly what's being done here. We're taking goods from one market, Southern California, and shipping them over to Indiana, an entirely new market where they are worth more. Now, is he going to resell these? He's not, at least up front. He's putting them on his truck and hopefully I can throw up a picture of the truck with the wheels on right here. But regardless, that is the definition of arbitrage. That is arbitrage in its truest form. And I was just thinking about that because I have a course down below on automotive arbitrage. If you wanna learn how to make money with cars, like I'm doing with these wheels, check out that link below. Well. Close but no cigar. We attempted to ship via FedEx. However, it is outrageously expensive. Uh, each of these wheels is 112 pounds. So it's 450 going out and some pretty big dimensions because they're massive wheels, obviously. So it was like 750 bucks. So I'm going to check online and see what alternatives are. And I might be back here tomorrow or I may end up going with another service, but Fortunately, we have an incredible sunset to bring back the mood. You do stuff like this to get somewhere like that. So it's the next day. We are back with the pre at none other than FedEx. I checked online and there was a site called ShipNext. Next, next, that I used. Uh, and so I fixed the labels onto the tires here and I'm dropping it off to get shipped at the FedEx 